Hi everyone, Brett back. How to scale modeling, part seven of the HK Models B25J build. Today we're going to be doing a lot of sub assembly. We're going to be putting parts on the fuselage. We're going to be putting engines together, flaps, nacelles. Get a lot of the sub assemblies done so we can get this thing together and get it in primer. Where we left off was the fuselage halves going together. Got the turret in. I got some masks coming for all the canopy, the turrets, and everything. We have the gun pods on the side. And we are going to be moving forward now. So, let's get her done. All right, all right, all right. So be the next step. You put the armor on. Now I was looking at, let me get out some bits here. I was looking at the plastic armor and the photo edge armor. And honestly, there's the plastic. Here's the photo etch, both very thin, plastic's already curved the way it should be. So I'm thinking just going with the plastic, which, now you gotta clear off all these nubs on here. I get completely flat. I cut part 24 off, which goes on goes all the way. Goes on the pilot side. And let me clean up. Still, those nubs are still raised a little bit. Hope you started receiving your kits of this. Get some assembly done. I've seen a few things on YouTube. So, it goes this way. It's got a little cut out there for a part and then that hole there. It's going to sit right there. Make sure I get this in the right spot. So let me check this over. So where to go? There it is. It's right there. And this part is at the top. So this one goes on this side. Okay. So it sits flush with this panel line from the nose. So I'm just going to put some cement. Let it move itself on down, roll it over, move itself on up, press it down, boom, in place. Okay, let's get the other one. 
you can see how it's attached. So you can just nip them off just like that. Again, sand all those nibs completely smooth. Excuse the neighbor's dog barking. Perfectly smooth on the side. Flush, flush. Sure, we went under all the way around and on the front. Armor panels on. All right. Bombay doors. I'm going to put them like this without cutting the nibs off for painting, so I'm going to do that right before I put the primer on. This, I'm not going to put on because I don't want to cut the leg up because I want it open, so I'll fill that with foam. This bulkhead here, I'm not going to put on because I need to be able to get the landing gear leg in there, and it's got to slide in through the front. Okay, but these other parts, that can go on. All the landing gear doors will be painted separate. That can go on. So, let's get E26 on. E14 on. Flip this baby over. Get E14. E14. And E26. So there's no marked spot to put E14. So let's clean up. Make sure it's completely flush. This antenna on. And it sits right in front of this door, pretty much at the panel line. Right there, offset of the landing gear. So, touch of glue, turn it the right way on there. Now, E26 goes on these two nubs right here. Again, you've got some attachment points to clean up. Simple as cutting them off. Don't drop your part. Send them back. Don't drop your part. So 
So this is the part where if they land at a obnoxious angle, it keeps the tail from dragging. It hits this first. So line up all the holes. And again, touch of glue. Touch of glue. Shoots down on the nubs. Perfect. Okay. So like I said, all these hatches I'm going to fill with foam for priming that I'll put these on. Because I want the ladders down. Same with landing gear legs. Doors, I want those open. So we're going to put my engine. So let's move this out of the way. Quit hitting it on things. All right, engines I'm going to paint as one unit, so let's just get them all together. So we need F3, F2, and F22. F2. And F22. These are already primered, of course, as you saw. We primer every sprue. Except the fuselage, of course, and the wings. So, make sure you got these all nice and clean. When I paint these, I'll probably paint them in Mr. Gunn's buffable dark iron. But you can buff them out and show the veins and the cooling jets and everything really nicely. There's four attachment points on each. I just want them flat. And you may need to Take your nippers and if you didn't get trimmed off very clear, cleanly. Okay, and just check to see if there's any seams or anything. Same with this one. Nubs all fine. Let's do this one. All right, so we got this one. And these are keyed in a way where you can't put them on wrong because one is thicker than the other. Perfect, just like that. I'm gonna put some glue in there. We've got one more part, and that would be F6. Again, make sure you got it all cleaned up. And it's going to be hard to sand because the attachment points are in between raised ridges, so... Our 
little display knife here. It's got a very nice small blade. Just get in there and get that out of there. Get that out of there. And cut them off. Okay. Now this, this side is flush. This side's got a little raised nib on it, which goes into that little port right there. Just like so. So I'm gonna put some glue in there. There we go. One engine done. Let's get the other one. You all know I love display products and they had a few new ones come out, which I'll probably do a scale model quickie on sometime soon. One of them is that knife handle that I was just using. Another one were some scraper handles. They look really nice. And what else did I get? I remember but I like it a lot oh the sander parts doing a scale model clicking on those too see it's this this you've seen before but they came out with these handles here and these are self-adhesive and they come in a sheet and just pop one on there. This is 400 grit. Hold it like a pencil. Boom. Done. Done. And these are when you get them dirty, wipe them away, just like new. Self cleaning. So let's just keep this three speeds. And there's two sizes, there's bigger ones of these. To cover bigger areas. Like I said, I'll do a full scale model quickie. on this and the grits and everything this week. So there's four different grits and I got four of these so each one has a grit, a different grit on it. And the Allen wrench for changing it is stuck in the back. And it's USB rechargeable. Okay, back to what we're here for. One in, two in, glue, 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 in place, two engines done. Now before, I'm not going to do this here because these are going to be painted a few slush color and that needs to be detailed and probably needs to be painted separate. Wings, you know, are together. We've got to put this part, F8, into the wings. So let's get some wings out here. Wing wing. Put this back over on there. There. So, F8. So 
this wing. It's F8. And of course, those beautiful sanding things will never take the place of just good old sanding sticks. Sometimes you just need a little swipe. You don't need all that fancy equipment. So, you should just do it right. Slot right into there. Perfect fit. Glue. I need a lot of glue because they fit in there really nicely. Okay. This one gets F7. Keep doing that, I'm going to end up breaking this thing. But I do have a new vertigo holder, which I'll debut in my next video. I gotta assemble it still. And it actually has parts that'll go around and hold the fuselage onto the base. So klutzes like me can't knock it down. Alright. In. Perfect fit. Glue. Glue. All right. And then a light lens, F5, goes in the wings. And I'm not gonna put the clear part on, of course. And after I get this all painted, I will be painting. All right, where's F5? Three, six, Four, nine. It does say F5. Probably right in front of me. Now well, let's check them. Future reference, that should be L5. It's a clear part, so that's not going in now. So remember that. This L5. Okay. So, next. Flaps, nacelles. So let's do this. Let's get these nacelles together. Okay, that's it. We're moving it out of the way. Okay, we're breaking it. And it's got these ones attached to the bottom, so if you got good nippers, just do it right off the bottom. Same on this side, just straight off of there. Okay. Cleaned up.
These you definitely want to clean up because these are the parts going to go attach the wings. I'm using a medium grit sander. I used to know what the grits were, but I've long since forgotten. I could look it up, though. Okay. These attached together. Like so. Dry fit. Make sure your seams look good. Seams look good. Seams look good. Seams look very good. Now with this... I will glue from the inside. Less chance of me fingerprinting it. Okay. And the front. Like so. Okay. Then touch in the back. Like so, and there you go. You've got a very seamless engine to sell. And we need F4 to go on there. Five to go on this one. A clean cut. Be careful with these nibs. You don't want to sand them off. This is just going to fit right on there like that. Again, you can run some glue on the inside to get it started. Looks straight, looks good. Okay, I like how that seam just disappeared. All right, one more. Cut out there, cut out there. We almost got those two spur trees done. Getting our box emptied. Okay, and then get down here as close as you can. Clean up. Thing all over again. Put them together, dry fit. This one's got a nub right there that I missed. That's why we dry fit. Okay, 
Okay. Good. Little one there. Seamless again, except, oh, that's good. She needs a push. Okay, that. Together. Get some back here. Okay, we're back to nice seamless fit. Very nice. This goes on the front. It's keyed as well. I want some glue in there. There, there. Okay. Then I'm going to take one. And you got a great fit right there. It's up straight, just how you want it. Okay, other one. Oops, can't use the same one. Oh, I didn't use the same one. Duh. Maybe I did use the same one. to be that's all right okay let me straighten this out there we go again fits right in there it goes in like that so maybe you should not glue this on Till you're ready to fit it where it's supposed to go on the wing. I don't want to glue it on the wing. I do want to attach it where it's supposed to be. Okay, both those fit. Now, flaps. I'm trying to see if there's a up and down or just a down. Twenty one gets a D eleven. Let's see. Let's to the side. Looking at this one here. Twenty one gets start with D eleven D six. Okay. 
like that. Okay, there's your wing. D11 goes. Like this. Into there. To give you the structure of what your, when your flaps are done. So it just, it's flush. In there. Like so. Make sure you're flush. Okay, and then D6. Be careful because there's pins there you don't want to sand off. And D6 goes in these little holes there. Which is why you wanted to be careful. Make sure the angle's cleaned up. So, what I would like to do is put a little glue in these little pins right there. Set it in there and lean it back. And again, make sure it's flush. Put the glue in there. You get a nice flush fit. Okay. Just like so. And I'm gonna put a little more glue right along here. Make sure that sits right as well. Okay, then you need to glue C two and three together. And this complete runner will be done. So, all finished, you know the trash is when it goes. Okay, you've got all these raised ejector pin marks on here. Some are raised, some are sunk. I'm just going to run them over with the sander to make sure they don't interfere. And again, they're inside of here, so they probably won't interfere too badly. And we're going to find out, of course, test fit. In there, in there. So something right there is interfering. I would say it's this one right here. There we go. That's completely gone. And now we got a good join. So, glue down there, pinch. Down there, 
pinch. It would get sucked into the seam there. And I like to hold it away from where my fingers are going to be. Okay. Put that one together nicely. And doesn't show where it goes. See if it goes in later. Yep, we're gonna put them in later. You can either cut the nibs off and have them up, or leave the nibs on, put some actuators on them, have them down. Okay, so that wing part of that wing is done. I should do this one. Which is gonna get D12. And a D5. Again, check for cleanup. And remember you're sanding on an angle because this has spits in by an angle. And again, these two little raised bits go on those two little squares there. And it just lays back flush. I can glue the bottom first. And glue too much glue on there. Let it flow into the top. Push it in. Make sure it's flush. And more glue on the bottom. Yeah, make sure it's flush. Okay, this one. Remember, you got these little legs you need. dry. See four and five. And this one's got a big raised one right there. So big, I'm going to cut it. Again, raised. We know what they did to the last one, so let's just get rid of them. Okay. Same on this side. Let's just get rid of them. Don't have to worry about it. Okay. Got that little nib there. Gotta get rid of it too. Fit. 
too much sanding there, but the glue will fix that. Good all the way around. All the way down the front. Sucks the glue right in. And another flap done. Okay, now here. So we have to learn to be careful. Now we're not going to do the doors, obviously, because we're going to paint those separate because I'm not cutting the legs off. But you have to put the landing gear leg in before you put the nacelle on. So your landing gear legs are going to be in while you're painting. So you're going to have to be careful. And it's showing you the correct angle to have it at, which we know we had a problem with that one. We fixed on the fly. So let's get us some landing gear legs, shall we? Okay, we are starting with this wing. That wing gets F13 and F24. Here's F13. And here's F24. Okay, so this keyed groove saw right there, groove right there, slide it. Now, as far as I can tell, the only reason this has to go in first because you won't be able to get this part on there if you don't. And this goes in just like that. That's simple. And there's no way to fit that whole thing Glue it on. So, glue it in place. And there's no way, no matter what angle you do it. And I guess if you got good skills, you could probably do it afterwards, but we're just going to go by the directions. Put this in there. Put it in a place. That's the right one. Yep. Slide that over the top. Around the corner. And that is going to go right like that. There you go. Landing gear leg secured. Now, I think we're going to stop here, maybe, yeah, we're going to stop here, because, did all that, yep, yeah, because there's a lot of detail painting coming up next. And including these legs, which I'm going to detail paint, then I'm going to tape them up before I paint the whole thing. Maybe not. Maybe let's glue these nacelles on. I can hand paint those later. I forgot a nub. Oh, that's supposed to be there. So... This is such a nice fit. The Tammy Extra Thin will be enough. I was going to use Contacta, but it's 
Such a nice fit. Don't need to. Okay, just jump down. Across the top here. Make sure you got that so the engine sits straight up. Wing sits like that. Landing gear straight up. Some more back here. Here. Here and here. Press down. So once we get these nacelles on, we're going to stop. Like I said, the next steps have some serious detail painting in them that I'll go over with you when we're doing it. So that one's on. Let's get the other landing gear leg. Okay. And if one of you does discover that you can put this leg on after the nacelle's on, let us know. A lot of people be interested in that. So again, this can only go on one way. Get it in place. It can only go on one way into the slot. And that's a great thing they did. Get that in there. And then wiggle this around. Going that way. Snaps right in there. Glue the seam. Glue the other seam. Okay, those two are glued. That gap there may be a little bigger than I like. We'll see when it's all dry. Okay, glue back here. Too much. And push that down. Some glue up here. Push that in. And then check your angle. Looks good. Let it dry. So that's done. That's all done except for the doors, which we'll do at the end. It does give you good details on how to pass it through there to get it in there the right way. So what I'm talking about next is putting the flaps on and then all the front gun bay. It's going to be detail painted. And then we will get the wings on. According to that, this is the final step. Getting everything on, but we're going to be primering and stuff because we're not going to put the, going to do the masking. So that's where we stand. We're getting close to the end. Part ten will probably be the end. We just finished part seven. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking along this build, and I hope you all have got yourself one and you're sitting your ass at the bench and building one. I will see you soon with part eight. Bye for now.